Coming up on episode 20, we review some indulgent marshmallow brownies. Rich experiences the seaside. Today we are in lovely Swanage. And we delve into the Food Review UK cupboard. This is going to be a sneak preview of Halloween products, isn't it? Welcome to the Frog Show. Hello everyone, my name is MJ, aka Michael Jameson, and this is episode 20 of the Frog Show. Yes, it's been a fantastic year or sort of less than a year since we relaunched the Frux Show. Hope you're enjoying it, hope you're, hope you're appreciating the effort that I put in. Trying to match the thumbnail colour with my t-shirts, yeah? Now, normally we'd kick in with the news right about now, but guys, there is literally no news. The news world in food right now is absolutely barren, and I do film these episodes usually about two weeks in advance. So there's nothing, there's nada. So let's kick it off with Quivia instead. Last episode, I asked you some questions about a chocolate bar that came in different flavours, such as bubblegum, orange and mint, and loads of people suggested Charlene's Chocolate Factory. Incorrectly, I have to say. Uh, it was not Charlene's. I was not trying to catch anyone else either. Else, catch anyone else. I wasn't trying to catch anyone out. I didn't even think of that. Thinking. So I can't speak this episode. This is interesting. But yeah, I didn't even think of that. It's actually Nestle Ventura, no one got it right. Uh, the long, thin bars, very chewy. Uh, obviously, you guys are probably predominantly too young to even remember it. But it has been, I think Harry's mentioned it before on the channel, so go and check out the Harry reviews. And it might have been on one of the Nostalgic Foods episodes as well. How about, guys, get in the comments below this time and let me know what foods you would like to see in a Nostalgic Foods video. It's been ages since I've done a nostalgic foods video so if you're interested in that kind of thing again go back and check the old reviews on the channel the old videos because we've uh, we've done a number of them and they're great to discuss I've got a few ideas I, I asked a question on Facebook recently and got a few ideas there as well so that's really cool now for this week's or this fortnight's quivia question name three UK bakery chains with orange in the logo Sounds easy, right? Maybe it's a bit harder than you think. Now, I'm sure we can all get two, but that third one's going to be a tricky one. Right, let's go into the first review. So, the first review this episode is going to be another Rubicon Street Drinks. Uh, this packaging is absolutely insane. I mean, that is literally my favourite colour. Basically, toxic chartreuse. And this variety is Indian-inspired Nimbu Pani, which is lemon, 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 cumin, and mint. And what one thing I love about this packaging is literally that font there, lemon, where it says lemon, that is the Food Review UK font that we use. So this is a fantastic product for using the same font as us. Oh, that's weird. You can definitely smell the mint and the cumin. Pour some out. Okay. It looks like that, sort of clear but a bit cloudy. Wow, mm, that's not bad. Somewhat sharp, but not too bad. Sharp and tart. Um, very refreshing. The cumin and the mint, how strange. Yeah, they definitely both come through. Interestingly, the cumin is sort of up front and the mint is at the back. So the, the mint is in the aftertaste. So it's obviously getting a bit, of, a bit of a mojito vibe with the citrus and the mint, but the cumin's really different. And yeah, fragrant, interesting, tangy, refreshing. That's not bad. I'd give that three stars. Right, on to the next section. Okay guys, what have we got in the drawer today? Well, on the side, not in the drawer, but on the side we've got those new drumstick squashies and I nearly, well the camera, I didn't nearly drop the camera, but the camera nearly left us there. Mmm, drumstick squashies cupcake with special drumstick icing which is interesting. And then what's in the drawer? Well, this is gonna be a sneak preview of Halloween products, isn't it? Because we just bought a load of Halloween products this weekend. So we've got Cadbury Goo Heads, Round Trees Random's Spooky Mix, Spooky Ghosts and Vampire Bats from M&S. What else we got in here? Count Colin the Caterpillar. We've got, this isn't Halloween, but Magic Straws, Millions, Bubblegum. Biscolata, the Halloween cupcake thing. 
Lots of awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Cheers. Today we are in lovely Swanage, the lovely seaside town in Dorset. And we have gone to a place called Chococo, which are a chocolatier company here in Swanage that do produce their own chocolate. And I have toasted cashew nuts and sea salt with 43% Venezuelan origin milk chocolate slab. Quite excited to try it, it does look pretty good. Tony has tried it already and says it's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a nice nut salt distribution throughout. Here it goes. Mm. That is delicious. That's so good. You don't often see cashew nuts in chocolate, but oh, it's incredible. Proper big bits of salt as well, so you get that nice salt cutting through. That's incredible. I don't know if they deliver online or anything, but if you're ever in Swanage, go to their shop and get some of this because it's incredible. I'll give this a five stars. It's really good. Really creamy, really rich, nutty and salty. Thanks for watching. Tony's gonna review something now or for you maybe later or in another episode, but Okay guys, what's for dinner? Well today we're having slow cooked Italian meatballs. Been cooking since, what's the time now? It's five to two now, it's been cooking since about seven, but I only put the meatballs in about an hour or so ago. You shouldn't really lift the lid on slow cooking items, but we're doing it anyway. Oh, the steam and the aroma, smells good. A Little bit of oil and it's a little bit liquidy in there, so I might have to address that later, but this is going to be really nice, and if you've never had slow cooked meatballs before, you should really try them. Right, next thing I'll show you is the final meal, and me eating it. So dinner has sort of been cooking for ten and a half hours ish. You can sort of see the pools of oil and meatball and where it's caught on top. And <sighs> right, let's get it plated up. Yeah, this does look very, very good to be honest. The meatballs are pork, beef, parmesan, breadcrumbs, milk. The sauce is pretty standard oregano, it, it mixed Italian herbs, dried bell pepper, yellow pepper, onion, carrot, fairly standard. Any good Claire? Oh. No, I don't want on it, edit me out. Is it nice Claire? Yes thanks, it's really good, well done. Okay guys I've just had a bit but here's a live on camera bit. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> The richness and the depth of flavour in there is insane. It actually tastes massively similar to Subway meatball marinara, which I think the secret is just simply slow cooking it. Obviously they leave theirs on for however, however long. I mean that is, that is sensational. If you can find some good quality sub rolls in the UK, I'll try and do that and just do a recipe video because, wow. Our second review of the episode will be this Aldi product. It's the specially selected, irresistibly indulgent, marshmallow brownie bombs. Now, hashtag honesty, I have tried this product before. I think they're about, they're about two pounds from Aldi. You get, it's in a bucket, to be honest, the bucket is a bit overkill because you get, uh, I think Claire and I have had four between us, so four, eight, nine, ten, I think you get twelve. I think you get twelve and that's what they look like. So let's give them a go. So they're brownies covered in milk chocolate. And they're quite big little suckers. Like when I say quite big, they're mini, but they're big mini. Mmm. Yeah. So one thing that is hard with these things is it's sometimes hard to see the marshmallow. You can see a little bit of marshmallow at the top, but there are pink and white marshmallows in here. I can assure you. There we go. There's a little pink brownie peeking out. Thought I was going to throw that, didn't you? Mmm. Oh. That's so, so good. The chocolate on the outside is super creamy and super sweet. It's really good quality. The packaging actually says it's Belgian chocolate. So, that's amazing. The thickness of the chocolate gives it an amazing bite. The texture of the brownie in the middle is umptuous 
quite gooey, quite dense, quite claggy, in a good way. Um, and then the, the little marshmallow pieces, you can't, you can't quite sense them too much in the texture. It just kind of all mixes in with, in with it. And I think it maybe helps um, to give it a much more of a gooey feel. Uh, but you can you get the flavour a little bit, a bit of extra sweetness, so it is quite a sweet brownie. But, they are absolutely fantastic. They are really delicious. You know these little bucket tins of, this isn't a tin, but the little, the little plastic buckets of sort of birthday party food really. You especially see these in offices. Absolutely perfect for them because that's what it is, and it's one of the best ones. These are a six star product. Get down to your Aldi and buy them. They also do a blue bucket, which is just square brownie bites. I've not tried them yet, and I will say that these are incredibly rare. I don't know if they do the normal thing that Aldi do, which is when they've got two flavors of a product, they split the case in half, so it's half and half, but whenever I go there and get these, there's always like one or two left, There's and lots of the other ones, so I think they're very popular with punters. They're incredible. Right, on to the next segment. So we've got two photos this week, and remember that you can send your photos in by using the hashtag TheFruckShow on Instagram, or Twitter, I do check both. So send us a photo, or just take a photo, upload it to Instagram, use the hashtag TheFruckShow, and it will be featured here. So the first one is from Food Review Southwest. They say, now this sweet chilli popcorn is delicious. It was a year out of date though. Uh, great chilli flavour, texture of the popcorn goes well with the chilli and overall a nice little snack to settle down with at the Fruck Show. So that's from the Gourmet Popcorn Company. I'm not familiar with them actually, but I'm certainly going to be keeping an eye out for them. The next photo is from Review Snacks UK. Follow both of these accounts by the way guys. Um, so they're saying, there's, it's another review actually, the Fibre One uh, bars, which I think we have reviewed on the channel. They're really good. Um, they said, this product has the feeling it's just come out of the oven, it tastes so fresh, the texture is really satisfying, so soft and chewy, almost the same texture as a brownie, uh, 8.5 out of 10. So yeah, I, I pretty much agree with that, it is a fantastic product, and thank you for sending in the photos guys. Like I said, you can send in yours, use hashtag TheFruckShow. Thank you very much for watching this episode guys, what do you want to see on the next instalment, do let us know in the comments below, because I do read all the comments, and I try to reply to most of them. Thanks again for watching, take it easy and goodbye.